Hello and welcome to Mock Productions, you're here with me Matthew, and we are back with a Skylanders Sunday, let's put it that way. We're here with an unboxing. Before we start, Happy Easter to everyone. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a pretty cool Easter for you if you are viewing this on Easter. Um, we have some interesting things in this box. Um, these came available... Uh, it was I found them on an email I got sent on Sunday just gone. So not this Sunday, but uh, last Sunday. So I ordered them straight away. And I got them sent to me because I've got to check these out because they look pretty sweet. So inside you can see we have air. We like a bit of air. Um, you know, it's it's quite important air. Um, so we're pulling all of this out. You're probably already seeing what we have in here. But what we have is the Power Blue Skylander variants here. And these are extremely interesting looking uh, Skylander figures. I have not seen any white and blue Skylanders at all. Now these are for Autism Speaks, which I'm guessing is a charity. So evidently they've chosen to sponsor uh, that charity and uh, you know make some Skylanders for that hopefully the money which is spent on these from uh, everyone buying these some of it or maybe all of it I don't know goes towards that charity which would be you know really nice um, an awesome way of uh, you know giving money to a charity by using figures and everything that people will be going out and buying but we have the <laughs> we have gold rusher in this blue and white colour scheme, looking pretty awesome. Uh, we also have in the box, we have a Power Blue Splat, looking super, super cool. We've had Splat before, so put that there. And then we'll pull out the Splatter Splasher as well, again in this blue and white colour scheme here as well. We've also got in here Double Dare Trigger Happy, looking pretty cool. He's looking pretty sweet. Obviously, they've got their little mottos and everything. So you can see we've got all the Power Blues um, in this unboxing. Also, I wanted to try and get myself... I'll move the box out of the way so I can show you this. I wanted to get myself the, uh, the, the, the second version of Excited Thrillipede. So I ordered this, but... <laughs> So here, here is the thing that happened. I ordered this. There's a little bit of a rip there. So, uh, yes, there's a little bit of a rip there. That's no problem, though. Um, that's going to be the one that I display. Um, <clears throat> now, as you all know, I already have an egg-sighted thrillipede. So there is that. So we have these two. We also got... The deep dive, uh, this isn't even deep dive, what am I on about? This is not nothing to do with deep dive. This is spring ahead dive bomber. So we had that. Um, then I, I, um, I asked my mum whether she could uh, go to Smith's and ask, and go there and ask, do they have any of the Easter things? Because the only one I wanted was spring ahead dive bomber. So I got the spring ahead dive bomber in package so this is this is going good but when they when she was there they said to her that there was a two for one deal so what did they end up giving her have a guess have a guess what they gave her they gave her another excited thrillipede so now i have three of these so here's my thing i don't need this so yes it means competition Right now, I am setting up the competition, so if you want to share this with anyone else who's interested in getting their hands on an Easter variant of a Skylander Superchargers, not even released original character here, right now in front of you, and by an unreleased I mean the actual version of this, um, not the repaint, uh, then all you have to do, and this is a very, very simple thing, subscribe to the channel. Done. Most of you probably will have done that. Um, and also, you will have to write in the comments below, and this is entirely up to you what you write, but I would like to know any flavour or type of Easter egg you like. That is it. 
That's all you need to put. So if you put, my favourite is dark chocolate egg. Done. You're entered straight away. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Sorted. So what I will do is I will put on the screen right now, right here, exactly what is going on. Uh, when this actually starts, when this ends, evidently you know it starts now um, and you can see on the screen when it is going to end and that is when I will be showing off uh, showing off actually who has won. Um, so you've got plenty of time to enter. Um, knowing me, I'll probably give you about two weeks, let's put it that way. And you will get your hands on a excited Thrillipede right here, mint in package. I'm not going to be giving you this one, do not worry. Uh, this one is going to go on display with me. You will get a nice mint packaged, no sticker or anything like that on it. Nothing that's going to damage the packaging if you wanted to keep it in the, the actual box. Um, but uh, yes, that is up for grabs. Contest, you can share it with anyone else, like the, you know, like the video and hopefully it'll share everywhere else and everything like that. And other people will be able to get their hands on this. Although if you really want it, don't do anything. Well, not don't, no. Don't do anything, but you can still... Enter, but just don't tell anyone, because then, you know, you might get it yourself. But there it is, right in front of my hands, that is what you can get. Now, not only do we have all of this, now, obviously, we've unboxed these before, so I'll get these out of the way, so these are going to go on my shelves. Uh, shelves? Not even a word. Um, we've obviously got these. These have been unboxed, so we don't really need to show these off anymore. Uh, so they're going to go over to the side. Now, again, with more exciting news, um, I ordered these thinking that, you know, <clears throat> these would come fairly quick. Um, but what did I do beforehand? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I ordered more. Um, but you'll probably be able to see a difference. Let me just, let me grab two boxes and I'll show you this difference. Can any of you see a difference? Anything in particular that's different? Yes, basically one set of these is obviously from Britain, or the UK, the others are from America, which is why those hook things are completely different. Um, so, yes, I have two of these, so we're going to be unboxing one and keeping one. Um, obviously, I don't have a third one, so I do apologise, it's just that one-off Skylander, and it was, it was free anyway, so... It's ideal. I thought it was an absolute ideal thing to do. There's no point in me keeping three when somebody else would more than happily enter, win the thing, and be more happy to have that figure than me have three of them. <laughs> so yes, we have uh, the doubles here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the uh, American ones. Now this is going to sound really weirdish. Um, I kind of like the American packaging more. Um, I just kind of like the slant more than this sort of like house shape in a way. Um, so we're going to keep the American ones. So these are all going to be put on put on my uh, shelf to <coughs> complete the whole set um, because I think right now. That is all of the variants. That is all of them. We have all the variants here. So we can actually crack all of these open and uh, get on with checking these out. So we're going to push these over to the side for now. And we're going to concentrate on Splat and the Splatter Splasher. Obviously in power blue. So let's open this up. Pull her out. Hopefully a sticker has been, yes it has, it has been power blued up. Uh, we have 120, 120, 260 and 200 there. That is looking pretty cool. She looks kind of odd in blue, but the background makes it look actually really, really awesome. You can see their power blue splat. Very nice, very cool. And of course we have Skylanders Battle Cast yet to be released. Any card packs or anything like that at the moment. But when they are released, I shall indeed be getting an absolute load of them and showing them off because that is going to be some awesome stuff to be uh, getting on with. So put that off to the side. Let's pop out Splat. And of course we have had the regular Splat before. Um, but this is the Power Blue Vert. Whoa, Nelly, I did not expect that to be as loose as it is. Wow. So the paint has not held that in 
anyway you can see it's moving in her hand as well so that is extremely flexible and movable so you could pop probably rest it on her finger there if you wanted it over her uh, over her face obviously just be really careful because obviously it might damage the uh, the look and the uh, the, the oh that's pretty cool the, the exact same thing happens here with all the colors uh, it goes from being like white 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 blue there so that is really cool the base is pretty cool I like this there's no texture here for the um the earth element, uh, not the earth element, the magic element, they normally uh, textured but they're quite smooth, you've got all this, I love this bit here this bit is so cool, all these uh, pyramid shaped things bursting at the back of this engine um, but she does look really really cool, the paint job is pretty much super duper, it really is it's pretty cool so there is Power Blue Splat, we'll just put her to the back and in fact let's actually bring in Everyone's favorite thing is Mr. Turney. It's Mr. Turney, the turntable. So let's just plonk that on there and let her have a spin around. Push her to the back for now. Um, and we will concentrate on the Power Blue Splatter Splasher. Let's open this up and uh, see what we got. Pulling this out, sliding that, and uh, we can have a look at that. Actually, I think I've just made a massive mistake. I'm opening the American ones and keeping the the UK one. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh well. Um, but uh, you can see that splat on the Power Blue Splat Splasher, and I've liked. I honestly like how they have been able to um, pair up these. You know, they haven't given us like an earth element with uh, a magic element and then it's just a stupid not non power blued combo but now we can actually do that with that you can see the two of them side by side looking pretty cool so let's crack this open pull it out no articulation on the boat but then again what really could you expect from this uh, now this one does still have um, my my splatter splasher seems to have the horns very far apart, almost like that. But this one is almost there, but slightly off. Um, but there's nothing wrong with this, and I really like the colour scheme on it. It's got an almost sticky uh, paint sort of feel to it. It doesn't feel like the normal paint they use. Let me just where's another one? Yeah, all of these are quite smooth, but this one it feels almost rubbery, but. The, I know the boat isn't rubber, is it rubbery? No, it's not rubbery. But it feels rubbery. The paint must be different for this. But I really like it. I just like the blue and white thing. It's very simplistic, but it's uh, it's cool. You know, it's cool. I, they, they should have been called, like, Ice ice Power or Power Ice. Power Ice Trigger Happy and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, yes, there is the Splatter Splasher there. So let's... Uh, put them on the uh, spinny spinny there we'll bring on the power blue trigger happy now of course this is uh, the double dare trigger happy uh, variant but we can pull this out slide this and there you go you can see trigger happy looking pretty happy there <laughs> guess what I did there um, I really like how they've kept the background the same, you know, I think it brings out the colours and details of the actual character a lot more. 150, 110, 170 and 270. So yes, there is that looking pretty cool. Put that off to the side. And let's pull out this this dude. Yeah. Yeah. Come on! Yay. Okay, nice. So here he is, the Power Blue Trigger Happy. I I I really look, whoa hello there. It should have been pushed in a little bit more. You can see there is on a little bit of a peg. Um, so evidently that peg there should have been pushed in a little bit more. But that's nothing that we can't just disappear from when we turn it around like this. He looks pretty funky, you know, as Trigger Happy normally is. He's pretty joyful, bouncing around, um, and he is so so cool. Um, the flames here as well is kind of kind of spiky. Um, you've got all of 
all it all eggs all normal and everything, but he's big and I like that. I like how they've sort of biggerfied the Skylanders to sort of bulk out the figure. I mean if he was a normal size trigger happy, this figure would be like tiny. Um the paint is pretty much okay. There's like a small amount of blue there that's gone onto the white bit of glove. But the majority of it, they can't really mess up a lot, really. They, I mean, they don't mess up. That's the, that's the thing. But um, there's not a lot of paint smudging or anything like that. So I, I'm pretty lucky to be able to get um, these figures that haven't like been totally destroyed by the paint, which not a lot of them are actually. So that is pretty cool. So let's just place that one on the spinny table as well. And there's dogs kicking off as well outside, because why not? Um, <clears throat> let's finish this off now with the Power Blue Gold Rusher. Rip this open, pull it out, slide that out. These have all been sort of curved slightly. I don't know why they've been curved. They've got nothing in there to curve them. Curve. It's a curve. Right, okay. So there is the Power Blue Gold Rusher there. You can see next to the trigger happy thing there. Looking pretty sweet. So there's that. Um, so sadly, this vehicle doesn't. Wow, actually, this kind of heavy ish. Let's pull this out. Whoa, what the heck happened there? Oh, nothing. Okay, then, fair enough. I thought something happened. Um, this vehicle is so cool. Look at it. Look at it. Hold on, hold on. This has got to go down. And then, look at that. Look at that. Look at this action here. So these wheels are basically together, so the two, I, I don't know really whether to call this two wheels, it doesn't really look like two wheels, it's more like one massive wheel, cut into four. So basically this thing has got five wheels, uh, but these are all joined together, so you're not going to be able to do anything there. I love this like screw, oh sorry, I've, I've gone out of camera, um, why would you do that? Um, there's this... Uh, a screw sort of shape here, so you might be able to get like a screwdriver and uh, turn the wheels if you really wanted to like mess up, well not mess up, but uh, edit the wheels in any in any way. Um, this is pretty cool in here, you've got um, like a cog inside the wheel. Um, and then there's this thing on the, the engine block, I don't know if you can just see that in there, that just sort of gives it enough clearance to spin around. And if you hit it correctly, it will bang into that thing and slightly stop the wheel from spinning. Now, the wheels do feel rubbery, so that is pretty cool. You've got these uh, slightly flexible smokestacks here, but it's a very interesting car, you know, um, and the, the, the colour scheme helps it a lot. Um, it rolls pretty well, um, it can do a wheelie both ways if you really wanted him to, he can go over, no self-writing mechanism, but he can go over and roll like an absolute awesome, awesome, awesome thing, um, but, oh actually it's almost like a wheelbarrow as well, but I'm going, I'm going too far, no, no, that's more like a wheelbarrow, but um, he's so, so cool, this, this, oh wow, it's so cool, the gold rusher, awesome, really, really cool. So place that on there, bringing this in, a lot of blue going on, whoa, hello there, um, <clears throat> a lot of blue on this uh, this specific uh, unboxing, um, but a pretty awesome unboxing at that. Now, of course, don't forget, you can enter, you've got plenty of time, you know, the thing hasn't run out yet, you know, I've only just announced it, it's not like a five minute thing. Um, you can still enter uh, to be in with a chance of uh, winning the, uh, let's bring it in actually, the correct one, uh, the over back. Obviously the <coughs> excited thrillipede right here in my hands, not going to be opened, um, right here. So uh, yeah, and like I said, all you have to do is you just have to tell me what sort of egg is your favourite. You don't have to tell me the actual brand or anything like that, but the flavour. If there's a specific flavour, or maybe there's a specific... Um, you can have a flavour, the specific chocolate, may, I, I don't know. I don't know. Any sort of thing that you like about an Easter egg, let me know. Maybe it's ones that have a mug in it, or a free gift, or something like that. 
All I want to know is that, and then I will enter you in to this excited Thriller Peak competition. Um, so best of luck to everyone. I'll whack him in the camera for you a few times just to give you, trying to activate 3D experience here. Um, but yes, awesome unboxing with the Power Blue stuff going on, rotating around me here. The, unbo the, the unboxing, the competition is still going ahead. Um, and uh, yeah, that is round about it, guys. Um, so that was pretty awesome, if I don't say so myself. Um, some very awesome stuff in this unboxing. Um, and very lucky actually, because I really wasn't expecting to be doing another competition so soon. But seeing as it's a freebie, may as well. Um, so there we go. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more of this. And obviously, it's going to help with the competition, otherwise, you're not going to be entered. Um, Comment as well, like I've said, because you'll be able to enter the, the actual competition. And anything in general about these, do you prefer these blue, uh, the power blue things? Would you enjoy seeing them again next year when the next game comes out, hopefully? Um, and also rate the video so I know you're enjoying the series and I shall see you guys next time for another unboxing or probably more Skylander gameplay next weekend. Um, but uh, yes, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.